वेलकम टू न्यूज लॉन्ड्री छोटा हफ्ता फॉर द फुल एपिसोड सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज इट इज बिहाइंड द पे वॉल एंड ओनली सब्सक्राइबर्स गेट एक्सेस टू अनकट कंप्लीट कॉन्टेंट न्यूज लॉन्ड्री हफ्ता इज अ वीकली रैप of all that made the news all that didn't and all that should have and all that shouldn't have we agree we disagree we critique and occasionally we beat each other up but it's all good fun subscribe this is a news laundry podcast and you're listening to nl hafta angrez apna lagan aur news laundry apna hafta kabhi nahi chhodte welcome to another episode of nl hafta before i introduce the guests to you would like to remind you all that i am going to be in london for a conference on the 10th 11th and 12th uh or is it 11th 12th and 13th the mail will go to all our subscribers and like last year we will have a subscriber meet in london so do email us if you want to be a part of that subscriber meet it will in all likelihood be on saturday so that all of you who are working as well can come in the evening mail us at subscription@newslawney.com repeat subscription@newslawney.com uh and do mail and let us know if you will come because what happened in the US uh in the Michigan subscriber meet was that about 10 more than confirmed lined up and then we hadn't prepared for you know whatever 28 30 people so do mail us uh cuz it's better we plan for more than for less and also you can top up our legal fund manisha atul and our wonderful producers will be traveling to karnataka as the elections unfold in just another two weeks right yeah No, next week we'll be there on Wed- on Wednesday. Today is the twentieth, right? You're gonna yeah, be there next week. Yeah, we're gonna be there week. on Wednesday. Yes. So, uh, and I also might just make a trip, quick trip to Bangalore, uh, and we'll be making a big announcement soon. On that note, let me introduce the panel. Everyone in the studio today, after a long time, no one's joining on the phone. <laughs> so, for a change, let's turn it around a little bit. Let's start off with our guest, and not from the home team. We have joining us today, Madhavan Narayanan. Hi, Madhavan. Hello, Abhinandan. Good to see you after so long. Yes, we uh, have physically met. COVID behind us. I mean, I'm still recovering from COVID actually. Yeah. And the last time we met was almost what, seven, eight years ago. I remember. Yeah, almost, was... almost. Let's forget it. It only reminds me of my aging. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Madhavan is a very, very senior veteran journalist. He's a writer and columnist. He's got more than three decades of experience. He's worked for Reuters, BBC, The Economic Times, Business Standard, HT. And after starting out in the TII group, that was your first. Yeah, that's right. Except that in the BBC, I'm not a. I've never been a full time employee. Only a gigster, just going there with my uh, comments. You know. But I see. Yeah, the rest of it, yes, I've done regular ge- jobs there. Right. So your first job was TII, TII, TII group, and then the rest. So you've covered business, economics, public policy, politics, tech, diplomacy, basically everything you've. Yeah, that's right. Been. Uh, an odd job man at with some pretensions i guess yeah okay so mm-hmm. thank you for joining us before we get into the headlines the rest of the panel today is manisha pande hi manisha hello raman kripal hi and anand vardhan the student of law hello yes when will i be able to say anand vardhan mbbs llb sorry MBBS. but knowing but 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 knowing you you also uh, after this you'll do the MBBS. five judges i think all of them are from delhi university yeah, yeah. They, they if are i from- go They are from my college. Ah, only. so we. Yeah. I have so, to tell you that one of the honourable judges used to sit across the aisle in the university special bus that I used to take. Mm-hmm. I still recall, like yesterday, looking at her, the name Hema Kohli, mm-hmm. uh, in a notebook on a, across the seat. So we're that close, eh? you know. Yeah, <laughs> and. Um, So she is also from my college only CLC okay yeah campus yeah, yeah. law center Small law world. faculty mm. uh, hello minor advantages among the various disadvantages of being a lutian's delhi product i guess yeah although du is not technically lutian's delhi that's yeah, well, that's I, the not we used to travel from that <laughs> lutian's area to but you know it's a state of mind more on that later <laughs> Uh so yes uh let's have the headlines and we'll get into the discussion after Yes Don turned MP Atik Ahmed and his brother Ashraf were shot dead on live television while they were being taken for a medical checkup in police custody in Prayagraj on Saturday so possibly the most dramatic story to have played out on our television screens in a while most channels showed the shooting live without censoring it mm. in fact the shooters pretended to be media the three who've been arrested so we can discuss that a bit in a sensational interview with journalist Karan Thapar on Friday former Jammu and Kashmir governor Satyapal Malik claimed that Prime Minister Narendra Modi told him not to speak publicly about lapses 
that led to the terror attack at Pulwama in 2019. The Supreme Court on Tuesday commenced its hearing on a bunch of petitions demanding legal recognition for same-sex marriages in India. The remit of the proceedings will be confined to validation of such marriages under the Special Marriage Act. We'll discuss that in some detail, including why is the quality of the video feed from the Supreme Court so of, bad? Yeah. <laughs> bad internet or something? I don't know. Just the cameras are not of high quality yeah. enough. Yeah. The Central Bureau of Investigation on Sunday questioned Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal for more than eight hours in a case related to the now scrapped liquor, excise liquor policy. And uh, people are suffering because. Many of the brands are not available. <laughs> suffering. I thought, <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about it. People <laughs> are yeah. suffering. Yeah, they are suffering. Some, Grim, some real good brands are not available in Delhi. So <laughs> you have to go to... Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, people are whining about this and you have to grin and bear it. Pardon the pun. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I really thought you were going to come up with something and say yeah, people are suffering. <laughs> that, that sentence went in an unexpected direction completely. <laughs> Now for actual really grim news and true suffering, 11 people died and 20 others were hospitalized due to a heat stroke at an award ceremony organized by the Maharashtra government in Navi Mumbai Kargar on Sunday. And the really chief dreadful. guest here was Amit Shah, which yeah. no channel had the guts to say. <laughs> but yeah. And he, but, he spoke about the... Yeah, chil heat. chilati hui uh, dhoop. Itna bada maidan, beech mein ek road, रोड के बाद दूसरा मैदान और एक चिल चिलाती 42 डिग्री टेम्परेचर की गर्मी ये सब के बीच में खुले में बैठे हुए आप सभी सदस्य आप सभी सम्मान जोग व्यक्ति माताएं बहनें भाइयों ये बताता है कि आपके मन में अप्पा साहब के लिए कितना मान सम्मान और भक्ति भाव The IMD meanwhile has issued heat wave alerts in parts of India including UP West Bengal Bihar Jharkhand Sikkim Odisha and Andhra Pradesh West Bengal and Tripura governments have shut schools this week after witnessing heat waves and i believe the delhi is also going to have it really bad it's not come it's yet going but it's bad, yes. that's what hmm. former karnataka chief minister jagdish shetter joined congress on monday two days after he quit the bjp He was denied a ticket for the upcoming state elections. APS National Joint Secretary Gopal Italia was arrested by Surat Crime Branch on Monday in a criminal case over his remarks against Gujarat BJP President C R Patil. This was during an election campaign. Meanwhile, APS spokesman spokesperson in Assam was also detained by Guwahati police for his remarks against the state government. That he was later released, right, Italia? Yeah. Right. Hmm. A new pay scheme introduced by Blinkit has sparked protests by delivery workers across several cities in the country. It was supposed to be twenty five rupees a delivery. Now it's come down to fifteen. Yeah, and it's seen wide protest. But I think Zomato has said that it doesn't. It's not going to impact us. And the famous startup founder, who clearly is a star. I mean, in fact, he was on stage when Sonia was accepting that anchor, outstanding anchor award, Ashneen Grover. Ashleen, mm-hmm. whatever. At least Shark Tank is what's really made him. Yeah, like, but dude, the guys. I mean, the charges against him are. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, they're serious and they're not exactly not credible. And this guy's become a star who's It's become an influencer, endorsing uh, you know which journalist is a journalist to award. Mm, well, uh, he's written a bestseller book called Dogla Pan, which is oh, really? literally you know double speak. So he's a, <laughs> a cult figure with a you it's, know it's reminds meta. me of Amitabh Bachchan in Diwar. He has some kind of an anti-hero image, I guess. Mm. But yeah, but he, of course he co-founded Phone Pay. Yeah. There's a lot of value created in the startup economy. But he wears his brashness and aggression on his sleeves, which is no. The problem is actually the charges against him. You know, following that phone call was that a lot of the and and apparently that is not exactly new in the startup funded. Uh, company space where you know the founder has access to a lot of vc wealth and who that is given to for what reason is often you know th- th- yeah. and, th- and th- that is the allegation against him in fact that is why they've also taken some of his shares away in fact i'll, I'll just check the exact allegation he was I'm... taken off he was taken off uh, shark tank also yeah th- they t- took him off uh, shark in the, tank in the second session yeah. he wasn't there mm. Because of his brashness, yeah. precisely, I think. No, no, that brashness no? was his USP. Yes, yes. after this allegation, allegation. of what oh, happened. Okay. Yeah. See, what's happening is that the sort of a free hand for CEOs is uh, kind of 
bordering on non accountability especially in the startup space where you're supposed to be going after the ball and you know they give you a lot of elbow room so this is not the first startup that's going through some difficulties like that you remember housing.com and yeah uh, yeah yeah what's his name although in housing.com i don't think there was any allegation of financial impropriety yeah except it was that just there that was he too wasn't much running money it. and he thought it was too big to fail but yeah, they, so, the vc so it was yeah. it was like strategically screwed up mm. but in this case there is allegations of Yeah. financial impropriety it's a lot you know yeah, for it's indians different. it's a familiar story to see vc money i mean bank money being embezzled or diverted but vc money being done is a different issue but you know remember sequoia the vc fund came out with a detailed sort of public statement on this uh, on the lack of transparency or corporate governance in indian startups yeah, so it made problem. us feel look the startups haven't really changed the business culture as it yeah hmm. Hmm. The Supreme Court on Monday imposed a fine of rupees 10 lakh on the Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation for seeking permission to cut 177 trees at RA Colony. This is because the court order had allowed it to cut only 84 trees. So these have been a cut. Shed. No, it says seeking to cut. Okay. Seeking to cut. The Supreme Court questioned the Gujarat government over its decision to prematurely release 11 convicted men. This is the Bilkis Bano murder. Uh, this is the Bilkis Bano rape case. And mm. the government is refusing to give them the files. Right. Yeah, the central, uh, yeah, the Gujarat government and the central government has refused to submit files to the top court on convicts' remission, and the court has been pretty upset about that. They've said we've gotten like bigger ah. uh, cases. They got details files on it. Ah, in in cases of national interest of utmost importance. Mm. So it looks like familiar, you know, right? Remember the Rafael case where the Chief Justice of India was shown. something in an envelope that nobody else has access to and then he ended up in the Rajya Sabha so mm. that was national <laughs> security and uh, uh, jaguar jets but this is coming coming down to humbler things like a rape case in a gujarat riot and therefore it's all about secrecy masquerading as confidentiality i suspect but the, the the judges had said that this whole closed envelope yeah. business is to yeah. be brought yeah. to an end which hopefully it will mm. Republic TV editor in chief Arnab Goswami told the Delhi High Court that he will tender an unconditional apology in a contempt of court case filed by environmentalist and former Terry chief R K Pachauri. Who this is, is pertaining to the sexual harassment case. But he's no longer alive, Mr. Pachauri. Yes, to I hear think. that apology, howsoever loud. Hmm. Hmm. A Surat Session Court dismissed an appeal by Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for a stay on his conviction in a criminal defamation case. For which he faces a two-year jail. So term. now he'll have to approach the High Court. Hmm. The Haryana government has informed the Punjab and Haryana High Court that no violation of rules or regulations have been detected in the transfer of land by MS Skylight Hospitality to the DLF Universal Limited in Gurugram. So is this the famous Vadra case? Yeah. So this should not this be a headline of will prime time that the Vadra Yeah, why why is Narendra up screaming and shouting ki why are you <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is very much the Vadra case. Hmm. So, um, yeah, actually, good question. I'm surprised. Like, because this was the this was the whole USP. A <laughs> Vadra was the huh. the whole. And he actual screams screen. and shouts at. Uh, yeah. I mean, all the whole Gandhi family is the Vadra Gandhi family, according mm. to him. Tech giant Apple opened its first flagship store in India at the Geo World Center in Mumbai's BKC. That's one, and another one at the Select City Walk in Delhi's Saket. So very nearby. What Can does BKC visited. stand for? Let's see, Panisha. How much you know about Bombay? Bandra Kurla complex. Oh, well yes. done. <laughs> well, it sounds like some abuse in Delhi. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ahead of the company's second official retail store opening in India, Apple CEO Tim Cook met Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi on Wednesday. Hmm. Fighting between the army and the paramilitaries in Sudan has resulted in the death of 200 people. 1,800 people have been injured. About 31 Indians from Karnataka are reportedly stranded in the violence-hit African nation. Mm. And there was some spat between Sadar Ramayya, yeah. a Twitter, yeah. not a spat, but a Twitter And exchange. Uh, I saw the live interview of the stranded Indians over there, uh, over WhatsApp video call. Yeah, it's pretty scary, man, to very, be there. And there. And these are not your NRIs. The when we hear say NRI, we have a particular affluent types. Yeah, comes to mind. That's their. Uh, they went as liberals, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I, it it appears so, and then you know they. They're outdoors. There's a fifteen, twenty of them. They don't have enough water. They don't have food, and it can be hard. Yeah. Now, big news of the day, actually, according to data released by the United Nations, India is all set to be declared the world's most populous country, overtaking China by mid twenty twenty three. India's population is will be at one 
142.86 crore, while China is at 142.57 crore. Though we have not conducted a census since 2011, 11, so we so, yeah, don't really. This is the, the UN's yeah. uh, UN's estimation, but I don't know if China is saying that this is. Yeah, they're not very happy. They're Western saying it's Western propaganda. propaganda, and they're trying to demotivate us. I guess because it also means that we are the next big market, and we're kind of. Because they've also come something snarky like workforce, now because it's mm-hmm. demographic. Quality, dividend. yeah. You see, so they, they have apparently they have issued a statement that what's the quality of the workforce? Exactly. So the, the real issue is the 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 competition for skills and to attract capital. And in that, uh, China is trying to be saying, look, we are not aging as we are made out to be. We still have 900 million competent sort of people around. So, On that note, I'd like to start off with the biggest story of the week, which was quite insane and shocking to see. I, I couldn't believe my eyes when I was watching mm. it. In fact, India Today played that clip from, I think, 10.30. I started watching it and I stopped watching at 11.30, 12. I don't think we've seen channel. anything like this on TV. Uh, they didn't blur the face. They didn't blur. You could see the brother, Atik's brother. You know, when he's shot, there's this slight thing that like mm. flies out from around. Uh, and they just played on loop and played on loop and played on loop. And the next day, uh, there's, there's absolutely no kind of remorse for their coverage and the way they behave. Wo goli marte rahe, police rahe. Kya aapne dekha encounter? Nahi to dekhiye. अतीक के पोस्टमार्टम से उड़े होश छोटा डॉन का काम तमाम नहीं सुधरे तो यही होगा अंजाम अतीक अशरफ का मर्डर किसका ऑर्डर एनकाउंटर में हुआ चौंकाने वाला खुलासा ए फॉर देम हैविंग जोक्ड अबाउट कस्टोडियल डेथ एंड ये ऐसे होगा ये गाड़ी पलटेगी अंजना कश्यप एंड ऑल एंड बी वंस इज हैपेंड यू नो हेडलाइंस लाइक अब तेरा क्या होगा Salina, whatever her Shaista, wife. the wife. Ki, Haan. Haan. Atik to gaya, ab tera ab kya hoga, Haan, exactly. This is fucking news, man. I mean, these guys are supposedly educated people. I mean, these are the industry leaders, the puris who want to take us to court. Like, dude, have you guys even seen your channel? I mean, have you... <laughs> anyway, so that was the coverage. And ever since, it's been on loop. Theories have gone and come. Uh... But the most compelling, that's one of my recommendations also, compelling a piece on this that I found was really well written was the Indian Express profile on one of the shooters. Hmm. They haven't passed any value judgment on good, bad, ugly. They haven't speculated that, you know, where did he get the, you know, 7 lakh rupee pistol from? They have just described firsthand his neighbor, what his neighbor says, his father, his brother, his life. And it's, um, and it's really interesting that in through one lens, Atik is the oppressor, and the man who killed him is actually he's he's the dredges of society, man. And but through the video, Atik is the victim, and this guy is the aggressor. You know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. without being flowery, I think a report like that just gave perspective. It's good old journalism, actually. Sometimes the facts are so startling that any opinion or description would actually reduce the value of the story instead of increasing it. There's a deadpan way of presenting facts, you know. I mean, journalists like Norman Mailer have, uh, in the US, have tried it. You know, it's what you would call literary journalism, where you are actually bringing to forth uh, the, the the portrait of someone, psycho portraits, you can call it, social economic background, and the irony of one thug killing another mm. of some sort. You know, yeah. uh, a juvenile delinquent killing a seasoned don right. uh, is the stuff. Clement, I mean, yeah. Martin Scorsese would like to lay yeah, his hands right. on this kind of a story to write a script. And um, so this is, uh, honestly speaking, I would like to bring, you know, it's commonplace for people like us now to talk about how all institutional norms have been violated. You know, extrajudicial killing, check, you know, it ticks all the boxes. Uh, what are they being uh, taken for, for a medical test at 10.30 p.m. in a local hospital? What's that? Why are they being allowed access to media at that time? When they haven't uh, in the past. Yeah, uh, yeah. And oh, w- 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 why is there no security check for the media itself? All these ticks all the boxes from a conventional, nice, little democratic Discourse and the sight of, of the police just moving away for those first few minutes. Yeah, where you don't, and then they surrender, and then that's when the police comes. There is a class of bhokalis in UP. When I was there for two years, that's what I've come across. So bhokalis, who are bhokalis? People should take note of them. Mukhtar Ansari, twenty-five cars, 
and all of his cars have just one number 786. There's no prefix UP, whatever, Lucknow, no, nothing, just 786. Okay, so so you need to be known. Raja had a Raja Bhaiya Raja had some kind of demeanor. So everybody wanted. So so there is a culture of Bokalis, and everybody wants to be a Bokali. Yeah. So, so even these three persons, I mean, who, who attacked, the accused. I mean, whatever we are hearing from the police, that that's what they have told police that they wanted to be famous. So my comment on why police didn't react uh, <laughs> one cynical thing would be that out of say 100 policemen uh, 10 or 15 would be counted on to be very brave 85 would not uh, uh, first reaction uh, would you just say yourself second is that I think uh, media glare of media camera and uh, lighting some have uh, a senior police officer offered this explanation I think in DIG of police that uh, the moving cameras and light they, uh, they would have uh, dazzled uh, the uh, policemen and they would uh, they were not very quick to react it was not a very elite force also means it was a regular police co force mm. uh, 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 escorting him so th th that may not be a full flu of explanation but uh, uh, that is means uh, maybe uh, the 15 uh, who could be counted on to react to none of them was there 85 85, <laughs> the 85 that's other. the most charitable explanation but I'm wondering like hmm. I, I don't expect them to pounce at the guys or you know do anything at the risk of their own life because I get it you may be scared but I'm wondering like why didn't they shoot I mean, that would be a very natural instinct to just shoot, no? You you see yeah, three they guys shoot shooting. All other times. They have, they've, they've shot also. No, 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 no. They were, uh, because they were not the target. <laughs> so, <laughs> so but how they, I, mean, I have this theory that police are not trained to shoot. It's only yeah. the paramilitary and the military are trained That's to shoot. That's quite believable. Police, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah. they're simply not habituated to that there's a combination of alertness and anticipation you need and I think that was clearly missing and the state level police forces everywhere are sort of guilty of this and you be particularly so maybe and PR. finally something that made major headlines and I must say that a lot of people were had a slightly more far-fetched conspiracy theory that Atik was bumped off because they wanted to take attention away from the Satipal Malik interview. I think that, that is journalists just taking themselves think, too seriously. I think that's a bit much for any. <laughs> <laughs> I, <mean, laughs> I think we are a nation this of con was, uh, habitual conspiracy Siddha theorists. That was us? That was Siddharth Varsvarajan's tweet within 10 minutes of killing of Hati. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look at me. I am the wire here. <laughs> so they are trying was, to... I think that was a bit far. But nevertheless, it was an explosive interview with some phenomenally uh, interesting moments. देखिए नरेंद्र मोदी जी के बारे में मेरी वो ओपिनियन नहीं है जो सारी दुनिया की है मैं बहुत सारी चीजें जैसे मैं जब भी उनसे मिला ही इज वेरी इल इंफॉर्म्ड पर्सन उनको कोई जानकारी नहीं है प्रधानमंत्री जी को करप्शन से कोई बहुत नफरत नहीं है होम मिनिस्ट्री से इजाजत मांगी एयरक्राफ्ट के लिए एंड होम मिनिस्ट्री रिफ्यूज टू गिव यस एंड आई टोल्ड इट टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेम इवनिंग कि ये हमारी गलती से हुआ है अगर हम एयरक्राफ्ट दे देते तो ये नहीं होता तो उन्होंने मुझे कहा कि तुम अभी चुप रहो ही वॉज इन नेशनल कॉर्बेट पार्क अपना शूटिंग करा रहे थे वहाँ फ़ोन नहीं होता है वहाँ से बाहर निकल के ढाबे से उन्होंने मुझे फ़ोन किया सतपाल क्या हुआ मैं कहा साहब ऐसे ऐसा हुआ मैं तो बहुत दुखी हूँ सिर्फ हमारी गलती से हुआ अगर हम एयरक्राफ्ट दे देते तो ये नहीं होता तो उन्होंने कहा कि इस पर चुप रह गया सो या लेट स्टार्ट विद यू रमन वॉट यू थिंक ऑफ इट एंड हाउ मच ऑफ इट वन आवर seven minutes long interview hmm. absolutely i mean i i didn't i wasn't bored even for a moment hmm. because the kind of things he was revealing uh, at times uh, you feel that maybe he's a loose cannon uh, like he's admitting that he said something about amit shah and he said i i, I just take my words back i made it up not made just up. something ah. he said amit shah told him ah. that modi is दिमाग 
uh, Modi has lost his mind. And he said, "I made it." News back then, I remember like it was headlines and everyone uh, was talking about it. Right. Ha! Uh, in fact, uh, he had been uh, when he was uh, governor of Goa, and then uh, with J N K, he was. uh you know he used to speak uh, uh against uh, modi several times but this time i mean i think his main revelation is that modi is very in- informed about kashmir uh, that uh, in pulwama crpf had asked for four aircrafts because uh, there is no uh, i mean whenever you are moving a lot of people you know from one place to another in paramilitary they mostly they go by the by air they don't move uh, you know on road and and the third thing he admitted that this car with 300 kg of rdx was moving freely for 15 days and he he admitted that it was a failure on uh, uh, intelligence and and he himself he said he is also uh, responsible for it and uh, he also said that modi is not uh, so much uh, you know against corruption <laughs> yeah so, he doesn't care about corruption <laughs> he doesn't care about it because uh, the certain corruption thingy that he told him modi just ignored it so i think it was very very interesting how much of this do you believe and how much do you not i i only thing is <laughs> which which i liked uh, that he only spoke about his administrative experience whatever like he as governor of uh, jammu and kashmir that's what he talked about so mm. so 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 you need to okay. take him seriously and when he was uh, governor in goa Mm. and he spoke about yeah, that i remember ha so 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 that you need to take him seriously then. because he was the administrative head and he has he has, he has pointed out certain yes. things so he so has access to the information ha so so the government should uh, but it is as much i mean one person's word against another mm. uh, right now so so manisha your take i think that the fact that he said something so explosive about amit shah saying something about modi and then just casually taking it back makes him suspect <laughs> you have to you can't now take everything that he say, says seriously but of course few things he said need to be taken seriously like i think to me alerting talking about corruption as an issue that seems very plausible that he's speaking about corruption and every party is corrupt or whatever except whatever their public positioning may be but him saying that modi is not personally he may not be personally corrupt but he's not bothered by it i think that you know rings true i think on the pulwama thing obviously it's an intelligence failure but you couldn't have flown around in the valley such a large convoy maximum you could go to shrinagar you will have to travel by uh, road so even if this was an intelligence failure i think not being given the helicopters is not something that i'm going to i don't know, you but, know because but what i've got from military analysts is that you don't take such a large convoy by road you do mm. take them by copter but if they were smaller you take them by road that mm. i mean i don't know maybe we should get a military yeah i think there are various ways of looking that, at this but let me draw your attention to the other Kashmir related stories about Kiran Patel you know this guy who mm. uh, disguised himself as a, a very important officer of the oh, government yeah. oh yeah who yeah. pretended to be <laughs> no no it, to me it is connected to the Satyapal Malik interview it is connected in the how? way that it shows how much there is a, a, a vulnerability in the security system or the security detail that that needs attention whether it is military or civil in a vul- uh, separatism prone border state if this is the kind of thing that people can get away with it then that to that extent satyapal malik's statement needs to be uh, analyzed seriously in terms of security detail maybe some uh, solid security detail uh, you know mind should apply uh, be applied to see how much of it what malik says is political and where were the lapses exactly yeah lapses yeah some of it may be genuine administrative lapses and uh, you know out of the normal level of acceptable levels of lapse in that case malik is right let me also draw your attention to why malik is saying this and why now because it's important to understand why didn't he say it earlier mm-hmm. it's important to understand that satyapal malik is from bagpat he's a pro- product of the jat culture he was an acolyte of choudhry charan singh mm. and his association with modi and bjp goes back to anti congressism and uh, satyapal malik was part of the jan morcha which was founded by uh, vp singh when he left the congress uh, along with arun nehru 
and uh, therefore to that extent uh, his bonding with bjp satyapal malik's bonding with bjp is essentially rooted in anti congressism but having said that the real question is why did he fall out with modi haryana coming up yeah and so haryana, haryana is coming out and he is from west up he is from the heartland of jharts and let me point out that yogi adityanath's rise has actually marginalized the political clout of the jhart community and the farmers the farm bill was a big disaster and it seems yogi adityanath can win elections in up without support from the farming community or the, of western up and that is something very seriously uh, worrying for jarts and satyapal malik who wants to be obviously well regarded in his own community and as anand was remarking in a different context he is a community leader so to that extent he is worried sunliya afrika mufat khoron not to brag or anything but news on the hafta features in the top 50 in the world on soundcloud in the news and politics category for podcasts so do subscribe and see what you're missing because when the public pays the public is served when advertisers pay advertisers are served subscribe help keep news independent and free all news laundry podcasts are available on itunes and stitcher and any other podcast platform